Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we have another purchase or pass video. You guys already know the drill. Let's get into it. Really quickly, hi guys, it's future Tatiana here. I filmed the purchaser pass video yesterday and today we have a couple of new releases that just were released. Of course, this happens every time I film the video. I'm like, dang it, but these we have to talk about really quickly before we get into what I already had filmed. First release, really quickly, let me scoot over, is from Morphe. So Morphe just announced that they're coming out with a blush collection you guys this is so exciting you guys know i love morphe i love morphe so much so this blush collection right here includes a some powder blushes cream blushes and some palettes and some brushes so i am picking up the powder blushes as well as the cream blushes you guys already know the packaging is so cute i love that morphe is going into this more like modern kind of packaging and i'm truly truly here for it i do want to pick up the brush Brush. They have this like brush that's like a hybrid between like a cream and a powder blush brush So I'm gonna pick that up plus some of the blushes So be on the lookout for that because I will be doing a review on this ASAP The last release I want to talk about is from Beauty Creations They just came out with pastel shades to like their, you know, base their base products their eyeliners and their gel liners you guys I love these so much. I have so many. Let me I have so many. I bought the whole collection of the first launch of their like shadow bases. And I also bought the whole collection of their gel liners. So they're coming out with pastel shades, which I am gonna be picking up. So I, when I saw this, I was so excited. And I was like, I have to include this in the video, you know? So I'm gonna go back to editing the video today so it can be up for you guys tomorrow yeah that's it let's take it back to tatiana from the already recorded video <laughs> what am i saying okay bye guys i was gonna film this video like a couple days ago but i was like you know what i need more releases to talk about so i finally got enough to make this video i'm pretty sure like it always happens whenever i finish filming this video and i edit it and i upload it new stuff is released or revealed and i'm like dang it if i just waited a little longer then i could have talked about those releases but that is okay it's all good i did create a little album because i'm so i'm so extra but okay let me scoot on over and we are going to get into it first release we're going to be talking about when i tell you when i tell you i saw this freaking release and i was like what the heck i wasn't ready i wasn't i wasn't i wasn't ready you guys Norvina is coming out with a volume six, volume six, okay? Not two, not three, volume six, you guys, of her palettes. I am so excited. I feel like this is so perfect for this time of year. It's great for the springtime as well. Honestly, I love this palette because it's like all matte. It literally looks like an all matte palette. It's so gorgeous. I saw some mixed reviews in the comments. Y'all know I like to read the comments. I saw some mixed reviews. People were saying like this looks like a mixture of all of her other palettes, but I personally don't care. First of all, it's all matte. We have one row of like shimmers, I feel like. The top row has some shimmery shades, which are really great shades that look like they could complement very, very well. I do think that some of those are pressed glitters. I'm not gonna lie, she does love her pressed glitters. I'm not mad at it, I like I like a pressed glitter. Um, but this palette is definitely a purchase. I'm honestly really happy I didn't get the Natasha Denona pastel palette because this right here is has pastels in it and I'm excited, I'm really excited. This is a purchase for me, this is gonna be available March 30th or 31st, or March 31st just in time for the sephora vib sale so i'm excited this is a purchase for me and this is going to my sephora cart like asap as soon as it can so urban decay is coming out with another all-nighter this is something that i found very interesting because i didn't think that they could come out with any more all-nighters but this is very 
interesting. So Urban Decay is coming out with the Vitamin C Cactus Flower Water All Nighter Setting Spray. I have the OG settings, the OG All Nighter, and then the All Nighter Matte version. And this one, I'm honestly really intrigued. I do wish that this one had SPF in it because that would have made a lot of sense. Like vitamin C, I feel like we need that vitamin C. This is a great, this is great for the summertime. I feel like this is gonna be a really good summer friendly, you know, skincare benefit kind of product uh, for this time of year. But I just wish that there was some SPF in this. This, that would have just like really made it a 10 out of 10 for me, just from like first impressions kind of situation. I am, Thinking about picking this up, I don't know when this is gonna be available. They haven't said when it's gonna be available, so I don't know. It just, it's gonna be $33. It's water and transfer resistant, energizes and brightens skin, smooths and firm skin texture, yeah. This just seems really great. I just wish that it had SPF in it. Next up, we have some new additions from Charlotte Tilbury to the Pillow Talk line. I feel like this is just gonna be, you know, she's gonna just continue adding more and more things to this line. I'm not mad at it because I'm seeing some different things, things that look very intriguing to me. So she's coming out with some, all over glow highlighters, some new beauty light wands, the most like the infamous viral beauty light wands. Another eyeshadow palette, mascara in a different color. We have some lip and cheek glows. Those looks like kind of like cream blushes. Every time I see a brand come out with a cream blush product, like for lip and cheek, I always feel like it's gonna be sheer because it's gonna be able to go on the lips. I don't know, I just, that always just like uh, sways me away, but I am interested in these products. I feel like these are products that I need to see in Sephora, see if I really, really wanna buy it, but they're interesting, so these are just gonna be a maybe for me. Let's talk about a couple of new releases from ColourPop. So ColourPop just came out with the Daisy Does It collection. I honestly thought about getting some things from this collection because I thought it was super cute, but then I took a step back and. And I looked at the eyeshadow palette, I covered up the greens, and I was like, uh, sunflower palette and the, what's the other one? Poppy palette mixed together. I was like, I don't need that, I already have those. And I actually did declutter the sunflower palette because I just, it was very ashy on me, so I was like, no thank you. Then I looked at the Super Shock shadows because you guys know I'm obsessed with those, and I saw some comparisons and I was like, dang it, these are too similar, way too similar to the ones that I already own. And if I put them on the lids, they're gonna just trans they're just gonna look like the same shade. So I was like, no, I don't need to waste any money there. And then I saw cream gel liners, like a lot of them were repeats that I already have. Y'all know, your girl is obsessed with her ColourPop cream gel liners. I literally have every shade you can imagine. But when I saw those, like I always get excited when ColourPop has a new cream gel liner in their collections or in their sets. And then I saw this one, I was like, dang it, it's more repeats. And I'm like, ugh, I want new shades. New shades. Um, I don't like the lip stains. I'm not, I was not a fan of that formula, so I was gonna pass on those. The Super Shock Cheeks, like blush and highlighters, I'm, I don't usually use those. I really don't gravitate to those in my collection. I ended up decluttering all of mine. Um, so I just, you know, so I just ended up, I'm just not getting anything from this collection. So it's, to pass for me. But let's talk about this collection. So ColourPop is collaborating with Avatar, The Last Airbender, and I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. I'm not gonna even lie. I'm excited for this collection, even though I'm not the biggest Avatar Airbender fan. I watched a couple of episodes growing up, but I never just was like consistently watching it, you know? Like I wasn't like up to date. I can't tell you if I remember much that happened, but I did watch it. I am familiar with the TV show. Um, but I'm excited for this. The palette I really do want to pick up. It's cute. I like the palette. It is fairly neutral, but I like it. I like the collab it esque of this. The cream gel liners. I saw that these are not repeats, I think. I think these are new cream gel liners, so you guys know your girl is trying to pick those up. We have a lip mask, a jasmine tea lip mask, which is interesting. We have some lip stains. We're not gonna pick those up. The Super Shock Cheeks, like the highlighters look so good, y'all, but I know I'm not gonna pull from them, so I'm not gonna pick those up. But, oh, and there's a little cute compact mirror as well, but right now, I think I'm just gonna get the palette and the cream gel liners. ColourPop did say that this is gonna be available at Ulta. So that is exciting. And I guess when this video goes up, these will this will already be available. So yeah, 
I'm gonna pick this up. Hopefully it's gonna be available Sunday um, at Ulta, so we will see. Let's talk about chapter two from Rem Beauty. So Rem Beauty, Ariana Grande's line, just came out with chapter two collection. I'm very intrigued to see how many chapters she's gonna have, and then once she's done with the chapters, is like what's happening next, or is it just gonna continue? Every collection is just gonna be a chapter. I'm just really intrigued to see what she does. I have never tried anything from Rem Beauty, and I was honestly very, very intrigued with this launch. I really was intrigued. Those blush and lip blush things, I was like, oh my god, I need that. I really wanted to try the um, the under eye balm as well as like the shadows. Like the, they look like jelly mud shadows from ColourPop, but you guys, I was so late to like going on the website and getting this. Everything I wanted was sold out. I was like. <sighs> I should have known, I should have known. I can't wait to get this. Anything from Rum Beauty, I need to get it like right then and there. Um, but if this comes back in stock, I might get it, but I guess it's like, I'm not getting it right now because it's out of stock, so we shall see. But this collection is super cute. This one catches my eye more than the collection, like number one. Her lipsticks look really good, and I kinda wanna try out her lipsticks. Next up, we have a new release. What's well, not really a new release, but they are adding more shades to their cream blush line. So LYS, a black-owned beauty brand at Sephora, is coming out with three new shades of their cream blushes. I really like their cream blush formula. Um, the only thing that I'm not the biggest fan of is the triangle packaging. I just feel like it's so hard to store. Aside from that, the formula is great. I highly recommend this. I'm not picking up any of these shades because the shades I already own from the brand, I'm obsessed with, and these are just great. I'm just happy that they're adding more to their line. It just, just gives it just gives people more options, you know? And I love that. I love when brands give people options because we love our options, you know? Have this right here from Pat McGrath. This is the Bridgerton part two of their collection collaboration. Now, honestly, I was so disappointed with this. I was so disappointed because the palette looks exactly like the first palette, except there's like a green shade in there. And I was like, dang it, I want the palette. But I'm like, this is... Like, it's only six shades and there's like four of them are repeats. Maybe all of them except for the green are repeats. And I was like, I cannot. No, this is not. No, this is going to be a waste of money. I'm just disappointed in that. There is a, like a blush palette. I wish it was like the first collection's blush palette, which is different shades. This packaging, I'm just not really feeling. It kind of looks cheap. It kind of reminds me of the ColourPop's, um, what are those little... Thingies, the little puffs, the little powder body puffs that like make you glow. Like I just was like, no. And those blushes look like it's in like a, it's like a baked gelée kind of formula, which I do love. But I just wish the packaging was different. I feel like this is just gonna be super bulky, hard to store. I'm not really gonna pull from it. It's just not gonna be something I'm like, you know. I feel like this is a good, like display collector's item kind of collection, but for like the everyday user, I feel like this is probably not gonna be much of a purchase, uh, much of a want or need to purchase. I do feel like if you have the first collection, you're not really gonna buy much of this already. I feel like the first collection, which is great. The lipsticks though, let's talk about the lipsticks because I do wanna pick up some, I've never tried Pat's lip product before, and I really wanna try her lipsticks from this collection, so I might pick up a shade or two of the lipsticks, maybe one lipstick, who knows, but I am intrigued to try that out. All right, so next, Makeup by Mario added some new shades of his lip liners, which I love. My favorite shade is the shade Jeff, but he added some other shades. There's another shade I really wanna try. I really wanna try Dark Chocolate. I have Je Jeff, but Dark Chocolate is like a shade down, but I really want that. But there's some other shades. I'm just happy he added to this line because I love it. And there's so many to choose from now. So yeah, hopefully this is available during the Sephora sale. I did see that he said this was available on hit on Sephora and then when I went to check, like I didn't see it at all. So I don't know if it just was like too early, something happened or whatever, but hopefully it'll be, you know, available for the sale. Benefits coming out with the Their Real Extreme Precision Liner. This looks so good. You guys know I'm loyal to my one size point made liner, but I'm always down to try new eyeliners just to see if there's other options for you guys. Um, so this is something very intriguing. I do wanna try this out. I might swatch it in the store and then if it looks 
good, if it doesn't like bleed, because that's a big thing for me. Like if an eye, if I swatch an eyeliner and it starts bleeding, it's going right back where I got it from on the shelf. So we're gonna see if this passes my test, then I will buy it. So this is a maybe. So iHeartRevolution just collaborated with Dr. Seuss, which is so cute. I just think iHeartRevolution, you can't even be mad at them. Like you can't be mad at iHeartRevolution for like the kitty themes because I love the fact that there's like preteens, like 12 year olds, 10 year olds who just wanna play with makeup and have fun. They have this line that is not adult-like or too grown for them. Like this is just so good. It's kitty, it's great. And there are some adults that I know that loves this line. I think it's cute. Like it just brings back the nostalgia and the fun for this line. So whenever they come out with something, I'm always excited because it's always something from our childhood. And I'm not even mad at them. I'm not mad. This is cute. It's a pass for me. This doesn't really appeal to me, but I'm just so happy that they have this subline that caters to a different demographic than you know, the usual. Rare Beauty has a new product that has just been revealed. They're coming out with a tinted moisturizer, skin tint kind of product. You guys know this is the year of foundation. I'm not mad at it. I've discovered some beautiful foundations and I'm so happy that I have this year. Like right now I'm wearing the one size BBB cream. My obsession, I love it. It literally, my everything, it's so lightweight, obsessed. This I am trying. I like Rare Beauty. Um, I like skin tints. Now that we're about to, it's almost summer. Summer's like right there, almost there. I feel like we can start, I need to start being on the hunt for some tinted moisturizers because your girl not gonna be doing full beat over the summer. We need something that I can wear to Six Flags, to, uh, to Disney, to Universal. I need something that I can wear to those places. And you know, like something lightweight, something I can wear by the pool. I'm not going to the pool in a full beat like this. We can't do it. So I'm gonna try this out. This is gonna be available just in time for the Sephora VIB sale. So y'all know this is going to my cart. And I don't know when this video is going up, but if you guys have seen my Sephora wish list, your girl cart is already at $700. And adding the Norvina palette, adding this, adding the makeup by Mario lip liners, like your girl about to be looking at like $800, $900, and it's just gonna be a lot. Next up, we have a new palette from Dominique Cosmetics, and honestly, this made me like stop in my tracks because this is beautiful. This is so freaking beautiful. Obsessed with this. Like, I feel like I need this palette. Like, I don't know why. I don't know if it's the packaging, the shades in here. I just feel like I need this palette in my life. And this is, I'm hoping to purchase this. It might be a maybe for now, but I'm just like, I need this in my life. I really do. I kind of wish that Dominique Cosmetics was still sold in Sephora. I'm not sure if she's like, if they're pulling their products from Sephora, but I would love to get this during the sale if this was available at Sephora, which I don't think that it is though, but yeah. XX Revolution is collaborating with Powerpuff Girls. I just wanted to bring this to y'all attention. We don't really have no products to look at today, but I am excited to see what they're gonna do with this collab. I feel like usually we see these kind of collabs with iHeart Revolution, but XX Revolution is more like, Kind of like Revolution Pro, it's almost luxurious. I can't really describe XX compared to Makeup Revolution and then Revolution Pro. Um, I can't really see what this one's gonna be like, so I really am excited to talk about this with you guys in the next purchaser pass, whenever we see what this is gonna be. Speaking of Makeup Revolution, they are coming out with an In Real Life Filter Longwear Foundation. I believe this is available now. As Soon as I'm done filming this, I'm gonna go order this because I really wanna try it. I'm honestly, I loved the finish of their other foundation that came in like the little, with the little doe foot, but like the colors were so off. That shade range was like, y'all could do better. I think they're doing better with this release. So I'm excited, there's so many shades. This is super exciting. I see a shade that I feel like would work really well with my skin tone. So I am definitely gonna be checking out Revolu Makeup Revolution's site after this. I feel like something that they do super well, their eyeshadow formula may not be the best, but their complexion products, they usually don't miss, okay? They usually don't. So I'm gonna be checking this out. Be on the lookout for a review of this foundation. Pharmacy is coming out with a waterless vitamin C serum. I don't know what it is about this, but I kind of want it. 
<laughs> I kind of want this. It's supposed to brighten and target dark spots. If I see this on Sephora during the sale, I'm buying it. I'm buying that because it just looks so good. It says it's supposed to, it's $50. Whoa, $50. I was not expecting that. $50. I'm going to have to rethink this one. Let's talk about one more product because this video is getting super long and I, it's getting really long. So the next, the last products I want to talk about is from NARS. They're coming out with the Orgasm Body Oil. This looks really cute. I kind of want to see this in person. I'm not one to usually use body oils, but it is something I want to get into. So maybe I might pick this up. The price has to be right though. I feel like they're Stuff like this is like probably $50, $60, but we're gonna see. There's a lot of products, I just wanna see it in person to be like, okay, I wanna buy this. It has to like, you know, really draw me in when I'm looking at it in store. So that is all of the new releases I wanted to share and talk about with you guys in today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful. Let me know your thoughts down below. I will also have all the products I'm wearing on my face down below in the description. If you, if you guys are curious about what's on my face, that is all for today and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.